Sherry Lackman, healer for the Embodied Mind, is a master's levels licensed professional counselor. She holds membership in the American Counseling Association, the International Institute for Bioenergetic Analysis, the Dallas Society for Bioenergetic Analysis, and the Heart Centered Therapies Association. Sherry treats depression, bipolar, anxiety, and eating disorders. In addition, she works with clients dealing with chronic pain and helps them in the management of their pain. She has made presentations about bioenergetics and interjects her playfulness and sense of fun into her presentations. Listen carefully to this quote to know more about the role of the body in bioenergetics. Just as the canvas and paint are combined through the vision, energy, talent, and soul of the artist to create art, the body and mind combine in ever-changing unique ways to create the self. Neither can function nor achieve its goal without the other. Please help me welcome Sherry Lackman. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm doing okay. I didn't realize I'd scheduled some knee surgery after I had uh, agreed to do this talk. So um, four days ago I had knee surgery. And I'm telling you, the power of hypnosis. I listened to hypnosis tapes and it's great. So anyway, thank you so much for being present today. Uh, my lovely assistant over here will be passing uh, two clipboards, one for both sides. And if you'd like more information as, as I'm talking, just give me your, your information. That would be great. And I also have um, like postcard-sized notes if you'd like to participate in a drawing, so which I'll announce through your, not today, but through, you know, if you give me your, your contact info, then I'll be sure to let you know if you, if you were selected. Okay? So if you could go ahead and pass those out now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that too. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, how many of you have ever heard of bioenergetics before? Yeah? Great. What do you know about bioenergetics? You just heard the word, right? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, wonderful. Well, bioenergetics is, um, well, as far as I'm concerned, the best thing since sliced bread, okay? But specifically, since you don't know much about it, bioenergetics is um, a kind of therapy. It's not, it's very different from cognitive therapy. Cognitive therapy is when you're sitting with a therapist in a room and it's just talking one-on-one. -on -one. And not that there's anything wrong with that. I think that can be very effective. However, bioenergetic analysis um, introduces the body into the process. So, for example, someone comes into my office and they request specifically body work or bioenergetic therapy. So I'll usually have them dressed as, as comfortably as they can be, but I'll often have them dress in maybe a tank top and shorts if they're comfortable with that. If they have body issues or if I'm treating an eating disorder, I don't even go there. You know, I just work with whatever I can see. But uh, the reason for that is I like to see as much of the skin as possible. I'm looking for changes in skin coloration, um, areas where there might be some constriction that I wouldn't be able to see if it were covered with clothing. So that's the reason for that. And uh, so with bioenergetics, I'm looking for areas where you chronically hold tension. Does anybody in here not have tension anywhere in their body? <laughs> <laughs> right, all of us have that. So I know for me, a lot of my tension is up here in the neck and shoulders. So if you have chronically held tension in your neck and shoulders, then I'll be showing you some things today that can help relieve that for you. Um, now, this is not just about relieving the tension, the chronically held tension, although that feels really good when it happens. But it's also what happens when, when that tension is released, because a lot of times emotions come. And then we need to process what those emotions are. Sometimes people will have a memory, or other, it can be a very positive memory also, um, or a negative memory, 
or people will get kind of worked up. They'll feel, man, I'm really feeling angry right now. Or sometimes they'll just kind of burst out laughing. So, you know, there's, there's no right or wrong way as a participant to, to do bioenergetics because it's strictly experiential. It's all about your own experience. Okay? So, um, Tom, if you come up here for just a minute, my lovely assistant, give him a hand. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. And I want to invite you to do this with, with him, if possible. Oh, you know, if you choose. If you choose not to, that's perfectly all right. But I want to introduce some techniques to you that might help you access more of your own body's aliveness. If you think about the, the origin of the word bioenergetics, bio having to do with life and energetics having to do with energy, right? So this is all about you being able to access more of your own body's energy. So if you don't want any more energy, that's okay, but if you want more, then feel free to join us, okay? So I'm going to ask you to stand and in the aligned position, and what that means is your feet are directly under your hip bones, so you find your hip bones, not your hips, your hip bones, <laughs> and uh, soften the knees. And kind of kick your heels out so you're ever so slightly, ever so slightly uh, pigeon-toed, okay? Now, some of you may be thinking, well, this feels kind of weird. I mean, how often do you stand with your knees bent all the time, right? Most of us don't. A lot of us may stand with our knees locked. So just for a moment, take a minute and just notice what you feel in your body as you're standing there. And then once you have that information, and you may be continuing to collect that information, I'd like for you to close your eyes for just a moment and imagine that your body is water. Now, it can be water in any form. It might be water in a glass. It might be a tsunami. It might be a mud puddle, or an icicle, or a babbling brook, or some other form I've not mentioned. Okay, so if you have that image in your mind, I want you to hold on to that image and then open your eyes. And that is going to be a barometer for how your energy changes throughout this little series of exercises that I will that Tom and I will lead you through okay so first of all just lean into let's see let's lean into the right side right side this way Tom we'll, we'll mirror it okay to the right side so your knee your feet are both on the floor both knees however are soft notice by the way what's happening to your breathing if you feel like you're holding it, let it go. Breathe. Good. Now, begin to shift, keeping your knees soft. No straightening of the legs, but, excuse me, keeping those knees soft, shifting to the left. There you go. It's a good thing I don't get seasick easily, <laughs> seeing you all move. <laughs> Yeah, good. Keep breathing. Now, as you're doing this, try to come down a little deeper into the knees. A little deeper. There you go. That's right. And now let's move over to the right. Continuing to breathe. Sometimes that happens. And just know what your experience is. Remember, there's no way to get, to get the answer wrong because I'm asking about your own experience. Okay, breathe. <sighs> you can make some noise too when you breathe. You don't have to be quiet unless you just choose to. And now, la there you go. And now last time, back over to the left. And really come down into those knees now. You may feel that your legs are vibrating a little bit. I'll talk about vibration in just a moment. You may begin to quake a little. I encourage you to allow that to happen. Now let's try to make sure your head is in alignment. Not over, but in alignment. 
We don't need any more, we don't need to develop any more tension, right? Okay, now come over to the center and just kind of shake it out and move it out. Move any way you need to. There you go. Take a nice breath. Good. Now close your eyes for just a moment. And I want you to go back to that body of water. And I don't want you to think about it, but just see what kind of image comes to you now. Maybe the water has changed. Maybe it was still before and is has more energy or activity. Maybe it was more active before and now maybe it's more still. So when you have that, open your eyes and that way I'll know you've, you've got it. All right, good. And I'm curious, for anyone, was there a change in your energy, either up or down? Yes? Before it was like a stream, after it was more like a waterfall. Wow, okay. Thank you. Anybody else? Did it change for anyone else? Ah, yeah. Yeah. So see, two very different responses, but yet both are correct because they're, they're speaking from their own point of experience. Okay, good. All right, now let's try another one. I want you to lean into your right foot, knees soft again, and imagine that you're putting out a cigarette butt. Okay? <laughs> Maybe you're a, a former smoker and you're remembering what it's like. Okay? So really grind the, the ball of the foot into the ground. Okay? Yeah, that's all right. It'll make sound. Go ahead and squeak. Squeak away. <laughs> now you want to put as much weight into the bent leg, the one that, that's squeaking. Okay? That's where you want all your weight, not on the other leg. But yeah, follow Tom. He's right. Okay? And just kind of, uh, kind of give a little bit of noise. Uh, notice your jaw. Let your jaw open. Uh, uh, good. Now come to center. Note what you feel, how you feel in your body. Okay. And for some of you, this may be very new language to you. I don't know, but uh, a lot of us spend time out of our body, you know, not really being present, not living in the moment. That's what I mean by being out of the body, not, not necessarily up in the ether. Although that can happen too, I suppose. <laughs> okay, now let's try the other foot. Okay, whichever foot you didn't work, then work this one. Okay? And really grind it in. Now remember, the foot that's turning is the one that has all the weight on it. Okay? So really, uh, give it some sound. Uh, uh. There you go. Yeah. Uh. This is really great, too, to do when you're barefooted. Normally, we do bioenergetics without shoes, but, you know, this is kind of a special situation. Yeah, good. Now, come back to center. And now, first of all, just notice what it's like for you, first of all, to have made sound, right? Because in most, most situations in public, we're taught, you know, we need to be quiet. We need to be, you know, we can't make sound or noise. Well, you know, throw all that out the window in bioenergetics. You come to my office, you can make as much noise as you want. <laughs> or in here as well. Okay, let's try it once again on both sides. So go over to the other foot. Now you know. There you go. Good. Grind away. Ugh. Imagine something you're really wanting to get rid of in your life, okay? And just rub the stuffing out of it. <laughs> ah, some of you connected with that, okay. <laughs> All right, good. Now come to center. I always have you come to center first to kind of let yourself, let your body integrate that part of the experience before you go to the other side because, you know, Sides feel different sometimes. Sometimes they do. Okay, switch when you're ready. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. I just... <laughs> 
I can growl louder than you can. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Notice what happens with your jaw when you growl. Are your teeth clenched? Again, one's not more right than the other, but just noticing, okay? So now come to center, okay? And notice now what, what you feel in your body. Notice any emotions you might be connecting with. You had some sounding there. Notice what, the, what, if anything, the sounding did for you. And now close your eyes for a moment and go back to that body of water. That's a good touchstone for you to determine what your energy level is like. So, for example, if your energy was really high and kind of frenetic, it, well, that's an extreme, but if it was frenetic to begin with and now it's stiller, then you're, you're what we call, come right in, you're what we call more grounded now. If your energy was very still before and now you have more energy, that's also a good thing because it's giving you you're, you're allowing your body more access to its own energy. Kind of like the previous speaker was talking about bioidentical hormones, you know, using, replicating what your own body produces. Well, we're trying to, rep, we're doing the same thing on an energetic level. So uh, replicating energy that your body has access to and then creating more of it, okay? All right, so back to, back to the room now. Any changes? Or anything in particular that you notice. Remember, there is no wrong answer. Yes. You feel lighter. Cool. That's kind of a nice feeling. Is it? Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? More relaxed. More relaxed. Is that a good thing for you? To feel more relaxed? Yeah. Good. Well, I ask that because... You know, for some people, being more relaxed might make them feel more vulnerable, and so that might not be may, might not necessarily be a good feeling. So again, I can't stress to you enough how how very experiential this is, and the whole process is really according to your own experience and your own interpretation. So it's not up to the therapist. I'm not really the expert in your body. You're the expert. And so helping you to create more autonomy as well as part of, and hopefully that's the point of any good therapy, whether it's bioenergetic or cognitive or whatever kind of therapy, right? Okay, one last one. Standing now with your feet in that aligned position again and bring the backs of your hands together, okay? Now your knees are still soft, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep, you got it. Soft knees. Now notice your shoulders. Okay, so your elbows are bent like so. Notice your shoulders. We don't want to wear them as earrings. Kind of pull them down like so. Okay, notice what that feels like, first of all. Breathe. And you're really kind of pressing the backs of the hands together. And now I want you very slowly to begin ascending. That's right, begin ascending with your hands. Now, obviously, the backs of your hands will eventually come apart. Go ahead and put them up over your head. That's right, into a prayer position, but up over your head. That's right, trying to keep those shoulders down. Once again, if you have shoulder issues, obviously you want to be careful. And as I said, you're the expert in your body, okay? Now, bring the fingertips to the back of the room. There you go. Keep breathing. I see some of you are going to turn purple any minute now. <laughs> and now keep moving down. Obviously, your hands are going to come apart. That's only natural. Let your hands come apart. As they come down and continue bringing your elbows back as if they're going to touch. 50 bucks to anybody that can touch your elbows, by the way. Let me see you. Oh, such determined faces. <laughs> Good. Now keep coming down. Breathe. Breathe. Soften the knees. There you go. Elbows still back. So that really pushes the shoulders back here. Okay. And then slowly allow your arm, your hands to come out. 
behind you like so. I know we're kind of cramped here. And then allow them to rest by your side. Once you get, you don't have to rush it though. You don't have to rush it. Good. Ah, so what did I just hear from several of you? <laughs> Relief, yeah. <laughs> but also some size, right? So do you think that this might be helpful to create more breath for you? Yeah? I mean, for most of us in a Western society, most of us are shallow breathers, okay? Most of us are shallow breathers. So uh, let me show you something. Put one hand at your chest and one hand at your belly. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we're not at the beach, so don't suck your belly in. Just hold it. Just let it out. We, in bioenergetics, we love our bellies. <laughs> so just hold your belly there, okay? And soften your knees. There you go. Breathe. <laughs> and now just breathe normally. And notice, notice what you notice with your hands. Take, you know, three or four breaths here. Don't be afraid to make any sound. It's okay. Uh-huh. Now, did anybody notice anything with the hands? What happened to the hands for any of you? They moved back and forth. Which one of yours moved first? Do you know? The one on the belly moved first? Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else's hands move, or maybe just one moved? They both moved, and for you, which one moved first? At the same time. Okay. Yeah. Did anybody have just one hand move? Yeah. Which one of yours moved? Upper, belly. Yours was belly. Okay. Yeah. So see again, everybody's had different experiences, right? But. Again, no one is wrong, because it's all right. Yes. Oh, that's interesting. Huh. Well, that's your experience. I, I, I don't have a way of interpreting that right now. And if we were in therapy with one another, I would probably have you explore that, explore what that's like for you. Okay? All right, so I wanted to give you a sense of what your breathing pattern is like. And it's a great way to feel with the palms of the hand. You know, it's where a lot of our energy is located anyway. So let's try this opening, this prayer uh, tech, uh, exercise that, I, that you just did. Let's try it one more time. And again, notice what happens with your breathing. So the back of the hands are together. Are your knees soft? Are you breathing? I have breathe all over my office, by the way, because <laughs> it's a lot to remember at first. I know it's a lot to remember. Okay, so soft knees, kind of move your hips back and forth, kind of shake out the pelvis. There you go, like hula dancers. Oh, very nice. Yes. All right, let's take a breath in and come up. And you, I want you to go at your own speed, okay? Good. And just so you remember, when you do get to the top, you can take a moment to, to rest here, shoulders down. Then the fingertips go to the back of the room. <sighs> See some purple faces. <laughs> Good. Feel that nice um, tricep stretch here. And then the hands begin to leave one another really pushing. Is Notice how the shoulder blades are really pushing against one another. It's as if your elbows are going to touch. Good. And now this time, bring your hands up. And I want you to begin reaching toward the sky. Reach, 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 reach. Now, Good, good. Now you're reaching for something. I don't care what it is. It might be a nice juicy red apple or it might be uh, good health, you know, so it can be tangible or intangible. But feel yourself, see yourself reaching for it. Reach, reach with one arm first. Reach, really get that nice side stretch. Reach, reach, reach. Oh, y'all are better breathe. <laughs> good. Now come down. Other arm. Reach, 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 reach. Oh, man. 
see yourself, it's almost out of, it's just barely out of reach. Now bring both arms up again, both arms up, and see yourself grabbing. You're now able to grab whatever it is you want. Really get into the moment now. Visualize this. Sense it. Maybe you can smell it. Maybe you see a texture or feel a texture. Feel yourself grabbing that and bring it down right into your heart center right here. And just spend a moment. You're welcome to close your eyes. Just spend a moment with what you've brought into your heart center. Noticing what you feel in your body. Notice your breathing. And kind of pat your heart center right here a couple of times. Just to kind of tuck it in there. Seal the edges. There you go. Good. And let your arms come down to your side. And so notice what you feel in your body. You'll hear me say that over and over and over because I really want you to get a sense of what you feel in your body. Okay? Close your eyes one more time and get a sense of what your body of water looks like and feels like now. If you were an icicle before, are you melting? <laughs> if you were a tsunami before, or maybe you're just a babbling brook now. Whatever your experience is, note that. Note your jaw, your knees, your hips, your pelvis. Notice how your neck and shoulders feel. And then when you're ready, open your eyes, coming back into the room. Here you go. And after an experience like that, if it was intense for you or even slightly intense, it's good not necessarily to make eye contact with anyone in particular, but just to kind of look away or look up until you're fully, you know, back into the room and in, in the present moment. So any changes for anyone or anything you want to mention about your energy level. Did you sense that your energy level went up? Yes, ma'am. Um, I was really energetic and then I started coming down. What was that like for you to kind of come down? Yeah. It can be kind of weird sometimes, especially if you're not used to it, right? Yeah, but this something like this might be good if you find yourself in a situation where, um, you know, there's a lot going on around you, or maybe you get nervous, you know, or let's say you're having to do a talk. Getting in front of people is not always easy, <laughs> and you have to get in front of your school, your, your school buddies and give a talk, right? And so your energy is kind of up here. So just kind of being quiet and sensing what your body of water is like might be helpful to help kind of ground you. Yeah, good, thank you. Anybody else? Okay, I'm told that I'm out of time now, but I've got a couple of minutes. If you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you, Tom, for helping. Be happy to answer any questions. If you wanted to participate in my drawing, uh, make sure that you've signed the little postcard, and I've got an information sheet if, you would like, uh, if you'd like me to send you some information. I don't bombard people with stuff because you can ask Tom. I'm not great at paperwork, so trust me, I, I wouldn't be sending you a bunch of stuff all the time. But um, I do some retreats, some women's retreats, and um, teach a bioenergetic exercise class. So if you have some interest in that, well, just be sure to sign the list. And I think you've all gotten a brochure. If you've not, just let Tom know or raise your hand, and he'll make sure that you have that information. Any, any other questions or comments? Okay, thank you so much for having me today. I appreciate your participation. It was great. Thank you.